just when the Pittsburgh Steelers had their big three back together. All-Pro halfback Le'Veon Bell suffers a knee injury that appears significant. D'Angelo Williams is a top flight back, but he's not Le'Veon Bell. This is going to put a lot on Ben Roethlisberger's shoulders going forward. At times, the Steelers are already in a three and a half game hole in the division. They host the Oakland Raiders next. You never want to make too much of one game, but Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos offense showed some encouraging signs in a route of the Packers. Some explosive plays in the passing game, the running game got going, protection was pretty good for Manning, and he limited his mistakes. You couple that with a defense that's the best in the NFL right now, and you've got a recipe for success that could carry the Broncos a long, long way. They go to Indianapolis, Manning's old home next, Make it five losses in a row for the Dallas Cowboys since Tony Romo got hurt, and they're still not out of it. One game back of the New York Giants in the loss column in the NFC East, the Cowboys just have to find a way to win something before Romo is eligible to return in Week 11. Another big one next week at home for the Cowboys against the Philadelphia Eagles. Drew Brees had a monster day as the New Orleans Saints beat the New York Giants in the shootout. You can start to see that Saints offense coming together, but the question is, can the defense do enough for the Saints to continue digging out of their 1-4 and four hole? They've won three in a row now, and the immediate schedule ahead is favorable. They host the Titans next, then are at Washington before the bye. I might just start saying this every week, don't sleep on those Raiders. Derek Carr ripped it on Sunday, four touchdown passes and a win over the New York Jets. They are four and three now. This young team would be in the playoffs if they started now. Another big test, big road trip coming up as they head to Pittsburgh.